Hello and welcome to channel UTM. Uh, this is a tutorial based research channel where I show you uh, my research results. I show you the research in action and uh, basically um, if you have any doubts about um, this subject um, this channel can show you how to find uh, the answers for yourself. It's very simple. Um, the earlier uh, previous um, uh, vids I've done um, show you exactly how to do this. There are tutorials as well. Um, and uh, yeah, that, that's it basically. Um, it's very simple. A um, little bit of learning. But um, if you want to know the truth, then um, go for it. Uh, I've got people um, that are doing this themselves and are getting results. Um, so there you go. Okay, right. Today we are going to be looking at Triton, which is a, a moon of Neptune. Um, it's quite small, um, 839 miles across. So this is one of the, the smaller ones that um, I've done. Um, and there isn't a huge amount of um, images, not what I found anywhere. I'm not very good at searching um, for images. So uh, you, you'll have to bear with me. Now, what I... What I um, more than anything with these images and i think i'm going to be doing it a little slightly different way around um because my aim is to get as much uh, information and detail out of these images as possible but what that does it can confuse the image for um, um someone who is looking at these for the very first time it can get very confusing um so what I'll be doing in future is showing you um, an area worked on so you can um, see a specific area um, rather than the whole area um, because it can get very confusing. And what you have to do with these images is um, take your time with them. Um, you What you've got to understand is that we're re-editing, edited photographs so qualities are pretty much not there as it goes most of the time and um, you just have to bear with it so I suggest um, pausing and taking the image in um, I'll point things out and um, the reason I do the research is uh, so you can get more in tune with what you're looking at and hopefully understand it. And I'm playing with my computer. Oh, there we go. Okay, full screen. So, information, have a read. Um, this is Voyager 2. Now, Voyager 2 is... Um, uh, went out in... 77 I think this was taken in 89 um, so it's old school um, and what I have been doing uh, is just having a, a brief look at uh, how these or, or, or the makeup of the images and the, the, the instruments that they use so we can try and understand the images more so we can um, pull out the information more so I'm just going to give you a few little bits here look um, uh, let's see Voyager 2 is now interstellar it is it is gone so um, have a pause have a read um, this is a couple of the instruments that it had on board which I thought was quite um, quite apt to to what we're looking at um so it had a telescope um for gathering information surface texture um so they can get very very close um 
this is if uh, you're interesting and there's some as well um, about the cameras they used um, etc etc so do we will be looking at stuff like that um, but I just like to give you um, some information regarding regarding this um, this small planet so this is the the picture you can download um, it's pretty cool uh, it's uh, where are we it's actually pretty large um, but don't don't let that fool you um, they're very, very crafty about putting them onto um, big pieces of paper um, but basically they transfer the image to a, a larger area and just keep it at the same quality so you don't actually um, get any um, improvement on the on the, uh, the detail and stuff that's why we use this program GIMP or Photoshop um, basically they they are the same programs so um, if you do use Photoshop um, you'll be able to relate this very easy so let's have a quick look at this um, what I've done in the image we're going to be looking at is um, I've uh, flipped it um, we're going to be looking at a different image first now I haven't got any information on where I got that from but it was from uh, an online science um, magazine of sorts you know with credits to NASA and stuff so it doesn't really matter um, but I just want to show you some differences um, so basically it was uh, this image and as you can see it's got some uh, some heavy blurring here and there's like a scene on the image as well um, we would get in and uh, if you do enjoy looking at these images and stuff um, basically and you want to have a close look because that's that's what all these missions and everything is all about getting a close look um, you're not going to really see much on this as you can see so the image I've been working on is this and as you can see like it's uh, completely different now but due to the um, tools and stuff that I use um, colors are pushed and pulled I started using color on some of the images um, um, because they've been working I predominantly work in black and white but some of the images um, are okay in in color so I'm going to show you a few spots on this and I'm going to refer to the other one because you might it's, it's a bit more clarity to it and you might might be able to understand so like I said I do suggest um, pausing and just observing the image and trying to pick out small individual areas and then you'll start connecting the image up visually um, once you are in tune with it basically um, so you need you need to train your brain and your eye uh, and it's something you get used to um, so I do show you things at different um, zoom percentages um, especially when I'm working because um, you can't necessarily see what you're working on when you're very close uh, until you pan back and then you get like a, a visual compression this is why we enlarge the the images um, so this is actually still quite small it's only 480 megabyte um, and I work up to about 3 gigabyte depending on uh, how happy my computer is at the time so if we check this out um, obviously you have to take the curvature of the planet now, this is quite cool because it is very small um, so you can gauge some scaling on this as well um, but as usual everything is uh, massive um, so you can see some unusual things going on here I mean it, if you're new to this just try and pick out stuff which doesn't look like a barren frozen 
planet. Um, I'm not sure if there's any... Yeah, there's some vague descriptions of the, the surface and stuff. Um, so, uh, like I say, you know, have a, have a read. Um, right. So, we're going to start having a closer look around. And this is, um, if you're new to this, this is when you might get um, a little bit confused. Um, so, initially... That bit will make quite a nice abstract painting. That's how I sort of describe it. And uh, because the everyone sees everything differently, um, so I can't expect everyone to immediately see what I'm seeing. Um, but if you do go, if you are interested, and you do go go through the videos, and then you'll start noticing the um, the familiarities between. Um, each planet or moon and um, then you can see see where I'm coming from so I'll tell you what I'll do we'll start we'll start over here and we'll do a little bit of uh, work on it so hopefully you can um, start getting a grasp on this um, I am repeating myself for the uh, people who are following the channel um, there's not many of us at the moment, but hopefully that will change. So uh, that that's why I'm repeating myself because uh, people will see things differently. So this has had quite a lot of uh, work done on it. Um, you can see here that's um, that's as far as I would go with that bleaching out without using another tool on it. Um, another range of tool. These are the, this is the tools we're using here. Um, dodge and burn, basically to make the pixels lighter or darker. So this is uh, this area here is quite a familiar setup um, that we see on uh, these moons and, and planets. So as far as I know, I mean mo most of these images are falsely coloured. Um, So if you imagine this as a horizontal line, uh, you might have to twist your head a little bit. Um, unfortunately, this program is a bit pants when it comes to uh, manipulating the uh, the image without um, it being a, not being a pain in the arse, basically. So, uh, And this is also the reason why the uh, videos are quite long. So um, I know people are going to flip for it because they want to see, you know, aliens having having their morning coffee on a veranda or something. But it doesn't work like that, guys. You know, um, and I can tell you now, we certainly wouldn't be wasting my time on something which. Uh, isn't there um, and as you know from the the other channels that that do this type of sort of research um, that uh, there's definitely something on these uh, on these planets so I can imagine this being quite confusing for someone, but um, if you follow the lines um, and the the this is like a a, a platform area, um, 
slightly above or or, or slightly just behind um, this area beneath it. So you have to take in the perspective element, um, you know, the curvature of the, the moon's surface in order to understand. It's not a bird's eye view. Um, so there are those elements to take, take in as well. So the other the other picture I've got is basically the same. Um, so if I pan out a bit, maybe you can start seeing the structures here. Um, and then basically just follow it through. And all these all these uh, moons and planets have a very similar um, uh, constructions and they all seem to be joined in, in some manner or way um, especially with uh, I suppose the general consensus would be um, uh, connecting tubes, travelways via, you know like a maglev system type sort of thing as you, you might want to think about it that way um, try not to label anything too much because I want you to make your mind up about what you're seeing so if you can understand sort of what's going on here uh, and it looks very unnatural it looks very constructed I mean there's no two ways about it um, through here as well And it stretches right across the uh, the moon here. See this might this uh, um, zoom percentage might be confusing you now. But in order to get into these places then I have to have to blow it up and like I say the more of this work I do the more confusing the image can get but uh, you know I want people to realize the extent of this uh, well what would you say um, construction I hope my mic's working And the, the the amazing thing about these images, it's not like seeing you know the old school um, moon photographs. Um, I'm working on some moon stuff at the moment, and but it's so so densely um, covered in just hundreds, thousands probably of, of, of buildings and things like that that they're taking so long to do. Some of them are quite quick to do. Um, but you just find more and more and more stuff. Um, there was a reason why I was saying that. Don't know, completely forgotten. There you go. Oh yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's not a case of seeing one of those classic um, moon anomaly or mars anomaly pictures where you've got one single solitary funny shaped you know be it a pyramid or or a, a monolith or something like that um it's everywhere and this is this is what can be the confusing thing about these images for people 
and it's my goal to um, help you understand and see the extent of this stuff. So let's just have a little travel later along. And these are areas that haven't been worked on yet. Um, So you can slowly see the uh, details coming through. The three dimensions appearing. So you know, if you take this image as a whole, um, I'm thinking your eye would be drawn to these square areas or triangular areas with little domes on the top or this area here and it's not the point that it's in one place it's everywhere so I mean people would say okay well it's got a lot of uh, square and rectangle and triangle and brown rocks but you know there's no mention of you know the strange surface detailing um, in any descriptions or anything so straight away it's uh, well let's quickly go back to here I mean this this is what you get let's just quickly uh, uh, no, 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 no. Let's quickly have a look. So it's basically this is uh, this is the image, and this is the one that's been worked on. So if we go in. And if we go in, see that's what you're, there you go, no, no comparison, that's why the images are so pants, um, and this is the reason why they are so pants, um, because they're hiding all this stuff, it's that simple. So you can see this area running through here. And you can sort of track. I mean, obviously I can pull it out and make it look more so like that. But you know, you you have to start somewhere, and uh, I'm trying to show you. Like I said earlier, what what I'll do, I'll just work on a area, and then people can relate easier to a small amount of uh, information than the whole thing, which is hard to decipher because there's so much going on. So this this area here is what we're going to relate to with the with the other map. Um, it's actually taken quite a lot of work to pull this out because um, if you refer back to the other the other photographs, there there there's basically nothing there apart from this strange pipe looking uh, structure which runs through here. The colouring doesn't help, it's sort of getting to a max out colour there um, without it starting to look, you see. But you 
you can see the three dimensions here. Also as well, you may have, we have to um, remember the the equipment they were using as well, which is like, uh, you know, very, very outdated now. Um, which I will show you briefly at the end of another map I'm doing, but it's so, um, there's so much to do on it. Um, I'm just going to do a quick uh, sort of part two on that one for this. Um, when I've got more of it done, but I'll leave you with a like a screen shot at the end, which you can pause and have a look at because it's just mental, and it reminds me of um, the the makeup of the image, which we've been talking about, um, is reminiscent of uh, who is it, uh, Venus and. Europa, which I think are on this, on Voyager 2's mission, can't quite remember, it does get confusing with all this stuff, um, and they look very similar, but if I remember the the, uh, the Venus stuff, um, they, they were using a, a radio type, sort of uh, a radar system to photograph the surface, um, so I don't, I just find it intriguing how, how the Im images are, are similar or different, you know, from whatever instruments they tell us that they've got uh, to use on this stuff. So, so you can see the stuff appearing in here. I've done a little bit of work on it, you know, how it's been stretched out and stuff. Um, I mean, it's the more you look at this stuff, the more you can see the layout and the um, the purposefulness of, if that is a word, um, of the structures. You know where they where it looks like something is going to somewhere. Um, you know, like a like a station, a hub, and an epicenter, um, and then traveling off to another area. And there's the there's no um, other ways to sort of uh, describe them. Or there's no description of that given, shall we say. So you can see the, de the difference between the details. And you can see where this is slightly amount of detail poking through. On the edge of this blurred, um, smudged looking area. The good thing about the tools as well, if you work on it enough, you can uh, you condense the, the pixels by using the, the different ranges here, so you can retrieve more uh, more details. What am I doing? So we'll have a look at the other one in a minute. And like I say with this, you know, pause it and just take it in. Ooh. 
quick close to that. Okay, right, so this is the other image, um, which is this one from the photo journal site. Um, and this is now very different. There you can see where I'm slowly working through the image here. Um, haven't done too much um, on this area apart from there by the looks of it. Let's go and have a look. But uh, I think this is what I, I would did on Iapetus. So I was looking at areas that I haven't really done. So this is not going to mean anything to anyone. There's a, and that's what I'm going to try and avoid. So, you know, the aim is, with, you know, without a doubt, I want to be able to show you stuff that's going on. So I should have done a, another layer on this so we could um, compare the two. Um, but if I just go like this. So if you if you take this this Y, this uh, forky type sort of thing here, um, there's that area there as well. So you can see that circular area and here. Um, and again, that area which is blurred out in the other image is here. And I've slowly started working on that. Um, and there's a lot of information in there to be had. Um, but I mean, these can be... Um, I forget what they call them. There's a, a brief description in the other one I'm going to show you, but we're not going to ponder on the other one um, because I need to do more work on it. But I'll show you anyway so you can go and have a look for yourself. Um, it's very, very interesting. Okay, right. So the area we started on on the other one was up here. Um, I don't think this is going to make a huge amount of sense with you, but something else in this image, you can see the, it's like lots and lots of little stripes. Um, and it's just the makeup of the image. I don't know why it's like that. Um, oh, some, oh yeah, I was looking at, so we can have a quick, work on this um, and see if you can make anything out here I'll only do it quick but to me this looks like a, if we imagine one of those tube type sort of things running away from you there so remember the p p perspective um, again we're seeing the same features
So I won't try and explain stuff that you can't really see things on for like I explained earlier. Um, but you can see you get used to looking at this stuff. Running into an area here. There's more stuff coming off. You know, most people go, you know, the, the what, what is he, what is he seeing? Um, and this is the thing. It bothers, it bothers me a lot. <clears throat> um, so I think I'm just going <clears> to <throat> keep my, spend more time on the images so I can bring you more convincing uh, evidence, shall we say. But it's difficult because you you know you can you can show someone something that is undeniable and uh, they will deny it. <clears throat> and it's simply because their brain is uh, it's not geared to accepting this sort of stuff. And that's uh, that's that's the battle. Okay. So, if we go down to that area again, <clears throat> I'm not sure if this is more apparent. It might be. I'm going to use the pause button. I'll be back in a minute. Oh, hold on. I think I need to get a new uh, keyboard. And what is going on? Oh, here we go. Uh, okay. Right, just have a gander at that. Okay. A bit of a music jump there, probably. Right. Come on, keyboard. Don't understand. Right. Okay. Yeah, see th this image is so uh, I should have blown it up really before I before I showed you so we could get more out of it. Um Something which is interesting as well, we get this, um, I can't remember where we saw this, um, it might have been Pluto. Um, these plate sort of looking areas. So if we have a look in, in here. I'll just do a little bit on there, hold on. So like on uh, this, yeah, let's quickly, uh, it 
So this is the area we're actually looking at. different it is now. It does, I mean, I can work on this. You know, the longer I work on it, the, the easier I can see what I'm doing. So if I go away, have a break from it, and come back to it, it takes, you know, it does take a few minutes to readjust to what I was looking at or seeing. Um, so it's all about, you know, patience and... So you can start seeing that the angles of things, the connection of things appearing. Like I've said loads of times, you know, working in dark areas, working in the light area, the light areas are harder, they take more, you have to go over them many more times to retrieve the information. It's so like a it's filling in the gaps. So you can see the design and the construction, the layout here appearing. And down here, this comes down. And then there's, it looks like a drop. It may be, it may not be. But. And let's just chuck some uh, burn mid-tones. And it does saturate the colour, it pulls it out all over the place. So that's what I was talking about working on. Uh, colour images aren't always, don't always work well. And uh, like I've said as well, every image is different. You have to approach it slightly different. Um, bit strong okay so you can see from that area that actually look quite flat the details are now coming through so these images we're seeing are absolutely not uh, a representation of what is going on I hope you can see this. You know, if you think I've mucked around with this um, prior to making this uh, video, go and check the videos out. Look at the um, tutorials it's all very basic um, and try it yourself it's the only real way you know See it's slowly appearing
stuff everywhere. This stuff has design, there is infrastructure, you, you can see it. You probably get a quick in your neck looking at this because you've got to look at it at a weird angle. should make up a uh, brush palette but I don't know how to do it in this yet I haven't checked it out so I can just have a, a brush palette open and you sort of tend to use around about the same sizes Another thing as well is, you know, don't don't expect to see familiar constructions like we do have on uh, on Earth, because it doesn't seem to be the case. So that's another thing you get used to. Okay, so if I pull out. connected. Can you see it now? So much more work to do on this. Um, but I'm hoping it's at a stage where you can uh, make some sense of it. So you can see a lot of things like from this level here well I can on my screen that's another thing apologies to people who are trying to view this on the phone it's pretty pretty uh, I think you're pretty much out of luck you need to have a, a big uh, screen to view this stuff on really This is some sort of connecting structure. It's uh, it's very obvious looking to me.
You can see how that just drops down. Now what did I see from a distance? That there. So the more you look at these images, the more you uh, the more you can see. If we look at this, that white piece there, I presume, is the top of something, and then there is the the uh, the body of it going down, and then there's a a, a plinth or a platform below it. Same here. Can you see it now? Let's just do a quick. I can't help doing this. See it now, sticking up. Okay. Now this was something I was doing. I don't think you'll get much out of this. Um, but it's in relation to the other one I was doing, which I will quickly show you now, which is actually this image, um, smallish, um, taken from 80,000 miles. Uh, something that's quite in interesting, uh, probably a, a, a Graben. Uh, it's a, a narrow down dropped fault block and they reckon it's about 20 miles across so I'm not going to show you any more apart from I'll leave you with a, a, a screen screenshot of it um, and this I hope you can see what I've found and made some sense of it lots to do check it out yourselves it's quite hard to work on it's a, it's a it takes uh, takes a while See, look. Just like these. Huge, great big things going on here. So, if you're intrigued, just simply follow the instructions and have a go. Um, it, it it will change. It will it will change everything. You uh, you're aware of and perceive and so on and so forth. So yeah, I do give you warnings in respect to that. Um, it's crazy. Okay, right. So this one, I'm just gonna leave you with um, this. So. Um, pause it and have a look um, it's insane I'll just give you I'll give you that and I'll give you that and then I'll do another video so um, thanks a lot guys um, hope you enjoyed it and um, I will see you soon cheers